Hello there, this is Billy. Because of the coronavirus situation, we all stuck at home. Um, so I have nothing else to do. Um, today I try to pick up my crystal radio building block and make some circuit, mainly FM. I just want to share the video with you. Thanks for watching. This is the crystal radio building block that I made more than a year ago. Primarily, I use it to test the medium wave AM radio. Uh, I connected a loop antenna to the speaker terminal that is hooked up to the building block. One end connects to the variable capacitor. The other end connects to uh, the detector. I'm using the most FET, F-E-T, 3DQ for this testing. Today I made an FM tuning module with the variable capacitor, the copper air variable capacitor and a 3 millimeter copper wire to make an FM coil. Uh, because the building block has a lot of insertion loss due to the button connectors, we expect the result is not as good as if you shoulder the components directly. But still it's good to test different things. I also made this crystal holder module with an alligator clip that holds the crystal in place and we have a spring-loaded wire that will be the cat whisker. It took me a while to test the different contacts on the crystal to find the most sensitive area of the crystal. And those are usually between the shiny bits and the non-shiny bits. I created this MOSFET 3DQ module using an existing component from the original electronic building block. Just cut it up and solder the 3DQ to the terminals. Then cover it up and draw the symbol on the electronic building block module. Here you are, a 3DQ most fat module. I also added a impedance matching transformer, which is the KPB02 I got from China, to match the output to the 
impedance required to gain the maximum energy transfer. This is very important in crystal radio because crystal radio is a matter of harvesting everything you can get from that antenna by reducing insertion loss, matching the impedance, so you get the max volume out of that. Because of the insertion loss and other factors, the result of my FM crystal radio is not as good as those that I solder directly. But here you are, testing of my day. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and send to your friends to watch too. Thank you.